Hi, my name is Simeon Neil Asher and the trigger point of the week this week is the levator scapulae muscle. So let's uh, search within the software and we found the levator scapulae. So uh, let's start with the anatomy. The levator scapulae muscle uh, takes its origin from uh, C1 to 4, the transverse processes, the posterior tubercle, and inserts into the upper uh, superior angle of the scapula. Uh, it's a long thin muscle and actually it twists on itself. Um, this is a, quite an interesting muscle in that when you palpate it there's always a knot but it's not actually a knot it's because of the the functional direction of the fibers as they rotate. It feels like a knot so sometimes a massage therapist says oh this muscle is so knotty but actually that's not quite true really. Uh, that's the anatomy. Uh, however, what is true is that when there are trigger points there, and they're quite common, uh, it can be the source of considerable amounts of pain. So if we look at the pain map, for example, we can see it's quite extensive, looks a little bit like the trapezius muscle, but this time it goes down into the back of the arm, medial border of the scapula, and all the way up into the neck. Um, and the levator scapulae muscle is a conduit for holding stress and tension in the body. Also susceptible in things like whiplash injury, uh, people that are holding a handbag on one shoulder, um, uh, people that use a walking stick or, or a cane as they get older, uh, all of these things can cause an overload of the levator scapulae and trigger points. Um, in terms of the pain, uh, the pain can be quite severe and quite deep and, and it can be very upsetting for patients. It's a, tri it's a trigger point that's quite readily treated. Uh, usually what we do is we, we do a kind of hammerlock technique so that we can bring the arm behind the back, wing the scapula slightly and we can identify the fibres of levator scapulae there. Either sitting above the patient and pushing down uh, using some inhibition compression or, or using some needling techniques if necessary. Um, so an important muscle in terms of shoulder pain, in terms of whiplash, um, a muscle that we see often, I, I must have seen two or three this week already, of patients that complain of, of, of neck and shoulder pain and stiffness. And remember the upper fibers, as the muscle rotates, are much closer to the transverse process of the cervical spine as well. So it can be a source of cervicogenic pain. That's the levator scapulae muscle, trigger point of the week. Hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks for joining us.